it's JQ Crafty back with another sketch day seven. Um, I was just about, I was just kind of gathering what I wanted. I'm going to trim this white paper down and mat it on. I have this random cardstock that is like the perfect random like off. This is like an off orangey red. I don't know how I have a cardstock that's that color. I'm going to mount it on that. I'm going to do some stamping with this texture stamp. Because I really like that on the sketch. And I there is some stitching and it looks like there's some um, staples. I think I'm going to go the staple route. I really wouldn't mind using some staples. So I'm going to do some staples. And then amongst the um, texture, I'm going to add some rub-ons. We're going to use some of those. We're going to do a few things here. And we are scrapbooking these two photos. I debated doing this one because I already have a layout done basically with the view, but I think I will. And then I think, um, I will just point out that, um, just to kind of give it interest. So my son has something he's looking at type thing and he will be on there or I might do that and have this down here. I haven't really decided how I'm doing it yet, but that's what we're going to do. All right, let's get started. So that was a lot of intro. So basically you know what I'm doing and you don't need me to tell you anything. <laughs> Just kidding. So trimmed it down, framing it on this wonderful random piece of cardstock I have that matches perfectly. I really like that orangey red color, like that rusty. I really, really like it. I, and now I'm out of it pretty much. I think these were the last um, scraps that I'm going to use up in from this collection. I'm making a dent in the one canoe two stash I had, which makes me very happy. And I feel like I need to do this again with my pink fresh stash because my pink fresh stash is out of hand, out of hand. But anyway, so we're doing good. We're doing good. So I'm going to mat my photos twice. I'm going to mat them on that beautiful polka dot paper so that it kind of pulls it that color, the deeper blues in from the side. I cut that strip. And so I'm going to mat them on that. And then I have two 12 by 12s of this um, paper that has the ores all over it. And I don't, I honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. So I matted my photos on it because they just gave it another light blue with some extra colors. Like I love using busy patterns that I'm like with awkward things on it, like ores that I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do with it and matting my photos on them because you're not going to be able to tell what it is for one. For two, um, sometimes it just adds that extra color and pops of color behind your photo that you need. So that's a tip if you didn't, if you needed one today, but that's your tip for the day. <laughs> All right. So I cut two banners basically, or strips, banner strips out of that rusty red color. And I'm kind of layering them behind the photos. And then now I'm putting that strip down there because I want to start, did I stamp? I did stamp there. Oh, I just did the right side. Okay. So I wanted to stamp over there and then get that down. So I'm just using Stormy Sky um, Distress Ink. I just have some distressed inks. I have a lot of the oxides. They make me happy. <laughs> so just adding a little, so a little bit kind of pops out from behind the photos. And then here I'm going to get the rub-ons and get ready for disappointment. The last time I used these rub-ons, they worked amazing. It was within the last year. Um, they don't work so amazing anymore. So I put it down and it's lifting up. Like half of it didn't go down and half of it lifted up. I'm like, okay, let's try again. Maybe it was just a big piece and maybe it didn't rub hard enough. So I'm going to put a little lightning bug. Nope, it like sticks. I was so sad because I have all these people that are always complaining. I watch all these amazing people who are always complaining that the rub-ons don't work. And I'm like, oh, I've always had really good luck with rub-ons. Not these ones. Super sad. And I couldn't, but then the parts that did stick, I really couldn't get it off. So I'm like, oh, so I was frustrated at this point. So I'm going to stick it down. And I don't know if you've noticed this, so... And if this bothers people, and if it does, you know what, at the same time, I want to say too bad. So it's not a lot of times when I use a sketch, things are not to scale, but that's fine. It's a sketch. It's, I'm still doing all the elements, and you don't even have to do all the elements. I'm still doing all the elements in the sketch. They're just at a bigger scale. 
I have two photos, staggered. I have two banners, staggered, that reach almost the top and bottom of the page. But they're just bigger. And so then, it basically, like in a sketch like this one, it just leaves you a lot less room to do more mixed media or some of the tinier fun details maybe because you've taken up the room with the photos and stuff. So I go through my stash or the ephemera and I find this little thing I can use. Um, I was just going to put the bird, but I was like, it needs something behind it. So I was able to put that there. And then I'm going to grab my little We Are Memory Keepers um, staple anywhere tool thingy. It kept jamming on me. The little one always does. It's like you have to staple and then like pull it up, not just... Un, you know, not just finish your stapling motion. You have to then pull it up, which I forgot. I didn't realize until I did a bunch of them, but I just put a couple staples up by the bird, a couple staples, um, down by where I'm going to have this journaling. And then a couple staples on the bottom photo, just to kind of spread some staples around. I had grabbed this ephemera. Hello. It covered up that one part of the, um, of the rub on really well. But then, um, and it wasn't going to bother me that my staples were rose gold. Uh, but then I found some other things. I found simple pleasures uh, that is in rose gold. So, and in the meantime, too, I also found another bird um, and was able to stick that on the other side. So then I got the two birds used up. So my whole plan was to do like firefly motif because it was kind of dusk when, or mm, not really. It was, um, <laughs> when this photo was taken, but we did get to see fireflies in this forest while we were standing on this deck. Um, but we also got, did a lot of bird looking. So yeah, my whole point was to do a bunch of gold fireflies. Well, those didn't work out. So then I ditched the idea of using, um, the fire, the jar for the fireflies and I have the birds on there now and I'm adding stickers, um, from the sticker book. Not a ton, just trying to get that one little cluster but now I'm realizing, you know, I don't like this Firefly washi tape because it, it doesn't go. So I take that off and then I opt for this other one that looks like um, kind of like marbling. And I use that one instead because I'm like, well, I don't have fireflies on here anymore. So this doesn't make sense. But there you have it. There you have it. Um, check below for everybody else that's playing along today. It's going to be all the other ones that have played along every day. Plus Kristen, I know for sure. And there might be some others. So thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.